What's up guys, and welcome to Simple Review, the series where I, Pepper Homie, briefly play a game, review it, and I keep it simple. Let's get into it. Torum is a dungeon crawler roguelike top-down shooter. When you play this game, you will be able to take on the main story with up to one other player locally. The main story supports three difficulties and two additional difficulties which can be unlocked by completing specific tasks. Each player will be able to choose between two characters. One character is a ranged wizard and the other character is a close combat sword character. Additionally, there are three other characters that can be unlocked by completing certain tasks while playing the game. The only difference between all of the characters is the visual look of your character and the starting weapon. Now when it comes to gameplay, you are given one life and your goal is to crawl through a dungeon and defeat enemies, collect weapons and upgrades, then defeat the boss. Each playthrough will last about 30 minutes and the dungeon will be randomly generated so each experience is unique every single time you play. Keep in mind though that every single time you play the game, if you die, you don't earn any progress for the next run and you don't keep any items. So really this game's going to come down to skill and seeing if you're lucky enough to get some high tier weapons and high tier upgrades. Each weapon is very diverse and offers some benefits compared to other weapons and the upgrades are all pretty generic such as giving you health from killing enemies or increased mana. Additionally, while you're navigating through the dungeon, you may come across beds which act as checkpoints that you can teleport between so you can navigate the dungeon a lot faster. And that's pretty much all that this game has to offer. And now from my experience, I'd have to say that this game does have some potential. The combat and gameplay loop feels very well done but the game suffers from one big issue, and that issue is that the bosses are highly unbalanced. The only boss that I was able to encounter was the Santa Claus boss, and he was unable to give any signal of when he's attacking, and he attacks very fast, and after lowering the difficulty to the easiest difficulty, it became very apparent that this boss was just not designed well and offers a very difficult experience when compared to the other parts of the game. I also experienced a game breaking bug which resulted in rooms being locked and I could not advance after teleporting with a bed. So now with all that being said, I'd have to give this game 7 pepperonis out of 10. Tarum offers an excellent gameplay loop but is currently held back by one major game breaking bug and unbalanced bosses. This game overall just needs a little bit more polish and it will be something everyone can enjoy. For now, if you're a fan of challenging games, then this one might be for you. Otherwise, stay clear because you won't enjoy the boss battles. And that'll do it for this review. If you found this review helpful or you would like to see more reviews, please leave a like and subscribe.